In my last video, I talked about how we were moving and looking for a new place to live for both the convenience and space. I also showed you the difficulty of looking for an apartment in Japan and how expensive it is. If you plan on working here and coming alone, I'm sorry to say, but you're definitely on your own, my friend. Now, I'm sure you'd like to know if we found a place. And yes, we did after a few disappointing apartment showings. We finally applied for a spacious place far away from where we are now and couldn't be happier. But we aren't out of the woods yet because the apartment company needs to review our application. What made me nervous is the landlord wasn't available to say if the apartment could be rented by foreigners. But that shouldn't be a problem since my husband is head of household. While I'm sure everything is fine, pray for us that we land this place because it's so perfect for our growing family. Here's a little look at what the apartment looks like empty and I was loving every second of it. It was so big. It had everything we need. It had air cons in all rooms. It had light, light fixtures in all rooms. It had so much space. I felt so small in this apartment and that's what I wanted. It was all newly re renovated and there was so much nearby, only walking distance. The new birth clinic was only walking distance. There's so many parks nearby. I'm so excited for this place. I'm just in love because it's really hard to find a place like this smack dab in the middle of the city. This is a 3LDK apartment. So that means three rooms, living, dining, and kitchen. The kitchen is a dream. I can't wait for you to see it, but enjoy the rest of this little tour that I filmed. Yuji got this huge, you get two bottles of this. This was $20, you guys. And you can get this at Costco here in Japan, but we ordered it on Amazon. I had a UTI for some of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you know that. I've never had a UTI in my life, so that was new. And I didn't have any other symptoms except urgency to pee, like really, really bad. Like I would be like on the train and be like, tell my husband, I need to get off the train, I need to go pee. I don't really know if I like cranberry juice, I've never had it. My doctor told me to drink tons of water, liquids, all day, like at least two to three liters. So I'm gonna make that a goal today because I got my test back again and she said the UTI is gone, but there's still white blood cells in my urine. I have no TMI, I'm sorry. I, I still don't really know what that means. She just said to drink a lot of water. I don't need any more antibiotics because I had to take an antibiotic, which scared me. But the antibiotic that I took was pregnancy safe. So you know how I feel about antibiotics, especially with gut health, but oh my God, this thing is heavy. So I'm gonna drink maybe like a half glass of cranberry juice. This is also really great for constipation, just so you guys know. It's bitter. It's bitter, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It kind of reminds me of prune juice a little bit. Prune juice is really hard to find in Japan. It's really expensive, but I do have like prunes that I eat. This is something that you cannot chug. So I think I'm just gonna kind of sip it for the next like 30 minutes. That's what that is. Okay, so this is what we have going on. This is my breakfast. I have my multigrain cereal. I have fruit and I have a yogurt, Greek yogurt. It's like a blueberry Greek yogurt. Not what I was planning on eating today, but it's quick, it's easy. It's somewhat nutritious, I think, the whole grains and the fruit and the yogurt. And I've been drinking a lot of milk, um, regular milk, because I believe in not cutting that kind of stuff out unless you have some kind of medical condition. So I'm just gonna sit down, I'm gonna drink my coffee, which is right here, and watch some YouTube. Thank you. 
I just wanted to show you guys something because in Japan they have these air fresheners. They're like air fresheners, liquid air fresheners. So like when the toilet flushes, this kind of like smells. I don't know if it's when the toilet flushes, I think it just it smells when you push in the little button here at the bottom. Um, so it's kind of like an air freshener that sits on the top of your toilet. You guys are wondering, no, this is not toilet water that comes out of it. This is actually a place where you can wash your hands. It's like a two-in-one thing. <laughs> and this is like a very common toilet that you would find in an apartment. But I thought this might be interesting. So, okay, so someone suggested that I put, like, not all of my, but like some of my food underneath the counter so it's easier i can just pull it out and see what we're working with so that's what i did i need to get rid of a lot of these like glass bottles <laughs> i don't need them all i collect glass jars apparently there's some food and breakfast things in here and then there's like some like uh, appliances in here to like froth milk and stuff like that so it's kind of random at the bottom but the rest is like pantry food um so i can just like literally pull this out i'm not doing too much to organize because Hush, hush, we are moving. That video should probably be up by now if you guys wanna know more about that. But we're moving and I don't really wanna do too much, but there's a lot of stuff that we're not using and so I had to get rid of a lot of things. I'm so glad the refrigerator's cleaned out. So that is done. Now I'm gonna make lunch. So we are making a bagel sandwich. I got a bagel from a bakery that we went to yesterday. Some ham, I'm cooking this, do not worry. And actually, um, you know, ham is actually in the recipe book that I got. So um, it's just cooked ham. It's not like cold cuts. And I got a good quality one. So I'm gonna cook this in the pan. Cheese, lettuce, I have some pesto. I thought this might taste good on the bagel. And then I have some avocado, also a tomato, and yeah, lettuce, and that's gonna be my sandwich for today. I probably could have put more toppings on this, <laughs> like some bacon or more ham. Um, just to add a little bit of extra protein but um i did have some vegetable chips but i'm like these chips look so good because i found them when i was cleaning the cupboard out and we have uh tomato cheese cooked ham uh the i actually used sun-dried tomato paste and pesto and mixed it and it smells so good some lettuce and i was gonna put herbs on it but i think it's fine the way it is Swiss cheese looks amazing. I haven't had Swiss cheese in so long. And then this bagels from the bakery that we went to yesterday. So I'm just gonna eat this and continue cleaning. The reality of pregnancy. So I am exhausted. My back is killing me for some reason. And it was a lot, it took a toll on me. And I have a bit of a headache now. <laughs> Um, probably just because I've been cleaning all day. I know that I was gonna cook dinner for you guys today, and I will, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And today, I'm gonna order something because that's pregnancy life. Things don't always go as planned, but I'm trying not to like abuse Uber Eats because if I do that, we spend way too much money. I'm gonna order something today, and today I just overdid it. I think I pushed myself too hard, so I just need to know my limits when it comes to that. And there's something that I haven't had in a while, and it's maze soba. Now, it's the bell. I've ordered from this place so many times and I've eaten there so many times. My husband's gonna come home and he's gonna be so impressed with how much I've cleaned out. The refrigerator's clean, the covers are clean, everything's organized. We just have to, have to get rid of a few things, but oh, it feels so good, you guys. It feels so good. So far, I've been able to wake up a little earlier as my first step toward building back a routine. I have to eat right away, otherwise I just feel sick on an empty stomach. I also chug water first thing in the morning, and clearly I've been on a Cheerios kick with banana and fruit. Baby loves Cheerios, I guess. It's my second trimester and I'm at 17 weeks in this video, but I'm 18 weeks while editing this video. And all my brain can think about is the baby, so it's been hard to focus on other things. So it is the next day and this morning I had the same thing. I had some Cheerios with bananas and Greek yogurt and a coffee and it was great But I've been just really into sandwiches lately and I made bacon that I got on Horizon Farms and it's non-GMO sugarless It's really good bacon. 
and it's like American style and I really like that bacon. I don't know why, but I'm like craving and obsessed with sandwiches right now and I'm ready to eat this because I'm starving. Here is the sandwich. Oh my God, it looks so amazing. I'm not sure if you can see me very well, but I got an Uber Eats coffee. I do not drink all of this. I usually get a short when I go to Starbucks and I'm not a big Starbucks fan, but I love their cafe mistos. I'm not a huge like doctored up coffee person. Just need a little pick me up. I only had a half cup this morning. So, and I also got a cinnamon roll that I'm gonna eat after I film this video, so. <laughs> camera because I don't know if my iPhone's gonna capture the lighting on in this space we need better lighting in this room it's very cozy but at the same time so okay so I'm going to be cooking some sh sort of shabu shabu dish so I'm gonna boil everything but we have some bok choy I have some mushrooms and the pork which I'm gonna boil I'm gonna be using this yuzu shabu shabu mix and um, this has no soy, no anything that I'm allergic to. It's just like a citrusy taste. So you put that in water and boil it. So I'm just gonna boil everything in like shabu shabu sort of sauce. And then I'm gonna make like a sort of dressing to put on top of it with quinoa soy sauce, tahini, and some ginger. And I'm gonna mix that, hopefully that tastes good. I'm not sure, I'm gonna put some sesame seeds in it <laughs> and some sesame oil um, and just kind of make like a mixture. And then I'm gonna make like a broccoli soup because I couldn't figure out like what I wanted to make else. Broccoli soup, salad, and the brown rice going in there. So it's gonna be a very healthy, nutritious. So I don't have that much time, so I'm just gonna cook all of this. So I gotta get to work. Okay, so this is the most Japanese food I've ever made. Um, I mean, this is kind of Western. I made some broccoli soup. I blended it in the blender on these little mini plates that we got. And we have a salad. We have a shabu shabu, pre-made shabu shabu. I made this sauce out of tahini, quinoa soy sauce, and lemon juice actually, with a little bit of water to like make it more soupy. Um, so you can just kind of put it on top of this. Um, and put some sesame seeds in it. And then I'm just gonna put some kimchi on these little plates. And it's just pork, mushroom, and bok choy. And this literally took 30 minutes to make, like no joke. And I just used a Japanese recipe book. <laughs> but it looks great, it looks healthy, it looks filling. I hope he likes it. My husband though ate it all. Look at Good job. <laughs> now we're watching Love is Blind together. Love you. Love you too. I love you too. I love my baby. <laughs> morning bed head and all <laughs> and a random zit on my face I woke up with a headache which is great and some congestion I am making pancakes uh, my husband went to work again he's gonna be here working from home tomorrow so yeah that's what's happening I'm trying to find my plate here today's plan honestly like this whole week I had planned and it just went out the window <laughs> But that's okay, today I'm gonna do some editing and I'm gonna upload a new video. And this is all about my moving and apartment hunting and I would kind of demonstrate how we in Japan usually find apartments. Yeah, so today I'm just gonna be editing and I'm gonna go to the grocery store, but I'm gonna treat it as like an exercise because first of all, we live in a neighborhood that's not like super beautiful. There's not a lot of parks around. There's like no cafes around, which kind of sucks. It's another reason why we're moving. We just want to be in more of a lively area. <laughs> it's just kind of boring here. So I never feel like I want to go outside and walk. <laughs> so I'm treating this as like an exercise. There is a supermarket that's like a little bit farther than the other supermarkets around. So I'm gonna walk there. This is actually one of my favorite supermarkets. Um, it's really big and it has pretty much like everything that I need. So I'm gonna walk there. Will I regret it? Maybe. And I'm gonna get groceries for the next two days, today and tomorrow. In Japan, we don't have a car and I don't really ride my bike because I feel like it's dangerous being pregnant. So I'm gonna 
gonna go pick up groceries, come back and just edit the rest of the day. I can show you my bump. It's literally like the same size as it was like a couple weeks ago. It's not that big, <laughs> but it's also my first pregnancy. So we will see how things go. But anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and get ready for the day and show you what I eat. That was a long walk. That, that took a good two hours for me to get to the other, but it didn't take two hour walk, but it took like 40 minutes total to go there and back. And I got McDonald's because <laughs> McDonald's has their garlic black pepper chicken, not in chicken nugget form, it's in like chicken strip form. And I was so excited because they had that last year and it was the best chicken nuggets I've ever had. But I ended up getting McDonald's because I was like hungry and I didn't see anything that I liked there. So we got the chicken, black chicken strips. I'll have to show them to you. I got a Big Mac without cheese because I don't like cheese on my burgers. <laughs> and then I got an iced tea and a medium fry. They never give you ketchup. I keep forgetting to ask because in America they just give you ketchup. So this is the packaging for the chicken strips. Let's open them. It was not very big, I'm kind of sad. I like the chicken nuggets more, but they look like regular, like American, you know, chicken nuggets or chicken strips. And it comes with two of them, which is, they're pretty big actually. And then I have, oh my gosh. Ignore my vitamins on the side. I have the Big Mac. Everything looks so much fresher here in Japan, but I asked for no cheese because I don't like cheese. And then I got my fry in here and iced tea. So I'm gonna eat this and edit my video. We're gonna make some gyoza today. Um, I have some chicken and we're gonna make some curry udon. So I have some curry, ready-made curry here. And um, it says to kind of ribbon, the recipe says to ribbon the carrots and the radish, but I think I'm just gonna cut them up in pieces and add it. And I'm also gonna put in some green onions. So there's not gonna be too many ingredients with this. Got this really good dashi. So dashi is basically a soup base here in Japan. Um, and it has really good ingredients in it, like seaweed and mushroom and saba, which is mackerel and um, some like fish flakes and things like that. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna get cooking. Sorry, I don't show you everything that I do to cook this um, or all the details. It's literally, it would literally take, this video would be so long if I did that, but I will do recipe videos in the future, I promise. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment. The Ikigai Empowerment Circle will be open January 2023, an exclusive all-female community for those who want to feel inspired, empowered, and connect with like-minded people who too have beautiful goals and dreams and they'd like to manifest into their own lives. Join me on live chats, Zoom meetups, and view exclusive content on a subscription basis. Click the link below for more info and sign up for the waitlist.